Hello, boys and girls. We have reflection number seven, the present. God knew that his secret rescue plan could only work if Abraham trusted him completely. God had to make sure Abraham could do whatever he asked. So a few years later, God asked Abraham to give him a present. Abraham liked giving presents to God. He gave God his animals. They were called sacrifices, and they were a way to say, I love you, to God. But this time, God didn't want a lamb or a goat. God wanted Abraham to give him something more, much more. He wanted Abraham to give him his son, his only son, the son he loved, Isaac. Put his boy on the altar and kill him as the sacrifice? How could God want him to do such a terrible thing? Abraham didn't understand, but he knew that God was his father who loved him. So Abraham trusted him. Early the next morning, Abraham and Isaac set off. They climbed the steep stony trail up the mountain. Isaac carried the wood on his back. His father carried the knife and the coals. Papa Isaac said, we have everything except we forgot the lamb for the sacrifice. God will give us a lamb, son, Abraham said. They built an altar and laid the wood on top. Abraham asked his son to climb on top of the wood. Isaac didn't understand, but he knew his father loved him. So he trusted him. He climbed up onto the altar and Abraham tied his boy to the wood. Isaac didn't struggle or try to run away. He just lay there quietly and didn't make a sound. Everything was ready. Abraham took the knife. Tears were filling up his eyes. Pain was filling up his heart. His hand was shaking. He lifted the knife high into the air. Stop, God said. Don't hurt the boy. I want him to live and not die. I know now that you love me because you would have given me your only son. Abraham felt his heart leap with joy. He unbound Isaac and folded him in his arms. Great sobs shook the old man's whole body. Scalding tears filled his eyes, and for a long time, they stayed there like that in each other's arms, the boy and his dad. Suddenly, Abraham saw a ram caught in some brambles, the sacrifice. God had given them what they needed just in time. The ram would die, so Isaac didn't have to. And so Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. And they sat there on the mountain top, watching the embers of the fire die in the cool night air, the stars above them sparkling in the velvet sky. God helped Abraham and Isaac understand something. God wanted his people to live, not die. God wanted to rescue his people, not punish them. But they must trust him. One day, someone will be born into your family, God promised them, and he will bring happiness to the whole world. God was getting ready to give the whole world a wonderful present. It would be God's way to tell his people, I love you. Many years later, another son would climb another hill, carrying wood on his back. Like Isaac, he would trust his father and do what his father asked. He wouldn't struggle or run away. Who was he? God's son, his only son, the son he loved, the Lamb of God. Let's pray, boys and girls, in the, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus, thank you that you love us with a love that never gets tired, that never gives up, that loved us so much that you went to the cross to die for us. To give us life, eternal life. To give us the greatest present. Jesus, we love you and we praise you. Help us to grow to be your greatest friends. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening so beautifully. So this week, I want you to think about Jesus as the Lamb of God. Jesus is the one who gives himself wholeheartedly. So what you might want to do is to try to find a crucifix. You might have one in your house, or you might be able to find an image of one, or you might be able to draw one if you really like art. So look at this crucifix behind me. So crucifix has a cross and Jesus on it. 
to look at Jesus' arms there, spread open wide. Remember, Jesus did these amazing miracles during his earthly ministry. He raised people back to life. He healed the blind and the deaf. He could do anything. He turned water into wine. He walked on water. And yet he chose to stay on the cross. He didn't have to, but he chose to give his life that we might have eternal life. So look at a crucifix this week, boys and girls, especially the season of Lent where you reflect on Jesus' journey to the cross and remember just how much he loves you. Have a great week, boys and girls. God bless.